the college scam. You know, I had a uh, a Patreon donation yesterday. Uh, a guy who uh, I believe he wishes to stay anonymous. But basically, he was asking me, you know, Karam, what are your thoughts on college? What are your thoughts on, uh, you know, guys going to college and taking out loans? Uh, do you think it's really worth it? Do you think it's a scam? And I'm basically just going to jump right into this one because this is actually a topic I'm kind of passionate about. Um, I didn't go to college myself, right? And I don't think I'm going to. But I have so many friends and family members that just got screwed royally by going to college. Because here's, here's what it is, right? I'm going to break the game down to you. Unless you are going for a STEM degree or to be a doctor or like a dentist or something like that, a college degree is kind of worthless. Unless you have a guaranteed field where you're going to be making really good money once you get out, it's not worth taking out that much debt. You know, I have friends and family members who took out 50 grand, 100 grand to get a liberal arts degree, or they took out 100 grand in student loans and then they didn't even graduate. You know, something happened in their personal life where they had to just walk away from college and start working and they have 100 grand of debt that they can't pay back. And the tragedy about student loan debt is you can't wipe it away with bankruptcy. It follows it, it follows you around for life. You know, you can wipe away debt, you can wipe away medical bills, you can wipe away a lot of stuff, but student loan debt is just like a cancer that follows you everywhere you go. You cannot get rid of it unless you pay it. Not to mention it accumulates interest. So if you're in a situation where you borrowed, I don't know, eighty grand in student loans at a five percent interest rate, and let's say you get injured and you can't work for five years that debt is racking up. It's getting bigger and bigger every day. You're never going to pay it off. You're screwed for life. So it's like it's really a really risky uh, gamble going to college, honestly. Not to mention, let's say you go to college at, oh, I don't know, 20 years old, right? Um, let's just say you go for a worthless degree, right? You rack up your 50 grand in debt. And uh, you get out of college you know, at 25, right? So you have no job experience. You have a useless degree that everybody else has. So it's really not even worth anything. You get a job at some small uh, technology company. Let's say you do like an inside sales job. Um, they, they see you have a degree, but guess what? You have no work experience. A lot of employers want one to three years of prior work experience. So uh, unless you're going to lie like I do, and I'll go into that in a minute, <laughs> why I lie on my resume all the time. Um, and if you're an honest, upstanding American, you know, like most suckers are, um, you're, you're, you're kind of screwed because they're going to hire the guy that has more experience than you anyway. So now you have this 50 grand, 40 grand, 100 grand of debt that's racking up interest. You can't find a job. You have no experience. You're already 25, 26, 27. And, and, and you just wasted five years, you know, basically screwing around. So for most people, I'd say college is a waste of time. Um... It's a feminist, you know, breeding ground, first of all. So all the Midsau guy lis guys listening, you're around a bunch of weird, annoying feminists, which you hate. Uh, if you want to hook up with girls on campus, you're facing fake rape charges. So that's something else to consider. Um, it's mind-numbing, useless curriculum that's not going to prepare you for anything in life. You know, the people who get rich, the entrepreneurs, that's either a God-given talent or something you learn by going out in the street and networking and, you know, really getting an understanding for how this world works. Uh, a degree doesn't guarantee you a job. It definitely doesn't guarantee you a high-paying job. All the people who are real entrepreneurs, real hustlers who really made things happen, they went out there and they took big risks, you know, calculated risks for the most part, but they went out there and they got down and dirty and did whatever the hell they had to do to get where they are. They didn't, you know, 50 Cent the rapper didn't sit in a classroom and say, so I'm going to get a rapping degree and I'm going to become a multi-millionaire hip-hop artist slash entrepreneur. He went out in the streets, sold dope, got shot, learned the game, learned the music industry game, you know, um, gambled everything and, and came out on top. It, he didn't sit in some classroom writing on paper saying, oh, I'm going to become, uh, you know, it's not how it works, man. It's not how it works. If you really want something, you got to go out and get it. There's no uh, safe way out. In this college, they sell you this dream. They sell you this lie that there's a safe way out. And that's how you uh, become successful. You just get your degree like everyone else and you're guaranteed a high paying job. Maybe back in the 70s and 80s that was true because less people had degrees so they were more valuable. Now you have an oversaturation of people with college degrees. You know, the market is so flooded. There's no, it's not really much of a demand for it anymore. If everyone has it, it becomes worthless. That's really, so unless you're going above and beyond and getting some crazy $200,000, $300,000 STEM degree and you're guaranteed a six-figure job 
job after and you're passionate about what you're doing, it's kind of worthless to go to college, you know. Now I'm going to talk about what I do since I don't go to college, but I still want some of the benefits that a college degree <laughs> can provide. They're small benefits. They're not that great, but it's still something. So here's what I do. Let's say I'm applying for a job, right? A sales job, uh, inside sales, outside sales, what, uh, outside sales, whatever. Um, I lie on my resume that I have a degree, and I'd say four out of five times they don't even check that I have my degree because everybody that's applying for the job has a degree, so they just kind of assume that you have it. They're not going to waste energy and time, for the most part, into verifying that you have a college degree. You know, so but this is for lower level. This is like forty, fifty thousand dollar jobs. Now, if you want an eighty, ninety thousand dollar job, yeah, they're gonna check to see if you have a degree, but it's still not worth it in the end to spend fifty grand on debt only so that ten to fifteen years later, after you've climbed the corporate ladder and you're older, you know, you can be making seventy, eighty grand before taxes. It's just not worth it. You're better off just using that four to five years and using that fifty grand you would have spent on your degree to start a business you know, or work some job and lie like you have a degree like I do and then live cheap and then save your money on the side and create side hustles and side opportunities because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like working for people and one day I want to be completely free uh, and, and have no one be able to tell me what to do, you know? <clears throat> so, 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 yeah, you can just lie. You know, these forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 jobs for the most part, like I said, they're not going to check your degree. Just say you have it, get the job, Keep your mouth shut. You know, if anyone asks you, yeah, yeah, I got my degree, graduated, you know, bachelor's degree in uh, business, yeah, from, you know, so-and-so community college or whatever, and they'll believe you for the most part. That's at least been my experience. I don't think I've, maybe once I had an employer verify my background, but other than that, they don't. They're really just interested in checking to see if you have a criminal record. So you can just lie, get the job, save your money. You know, start a side business uh, while you're at the job. And, you know, if you guys watched my video, How to Pump and Dump Your Job, it goes more into depth on uh, how to start side ventures while collecting money from your job so that you're kind of, you know, getting the best of both worlds, right? So that's really my view on college. Uh, I think for the most part, it's a waste of time. It's a scam. And these colleges, they're giving you these loans, right, that are almost impossible to pay back. They say the average American, it takes them 20 years to pay your student loans back. So you just signed a 20-year slave contract. And it's not like the banks are actually giving you this money. They're giving you a loan, but they don't even have the money to give you. They're just saying, pay us this amount of money. Because you've got to understand, colleges are like a zero overhead business. They're not really giving you anything. You're going and sitting in a room, and some professor is, is teaching you nothing, really. But it's not like they're giving you stuff. You're just paying to go sit in a building. So it doesn't really cost the colleges that much to uh, even enroll you. It's, 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 it's the ultimate pimping business. You know, you're paying 40, 50 grand so you can get a document five years later, a certificate. It's the ultimate hustle. They're not even really giving you anything if you think about it. And the knowledge, for the most part, isn't much that you can apply in the real world. It's really not the you know, real secretive knowledge that people, really good knowledge, people hold on to it and they hide it and they hoard it for themselves. They don't put it in college textbooks, you know. So it's really just, it's really just a huge scam, honestly. But anyways, guys, that's my view on the college scam. You know, hope you enjoyed it.